In a modern society like ours, a person's physical appearance is of the first importance. Fortunately these days, a change of image can be a simple and highly affordable operation. And what's more... Hello! You be quiet! What's more, all the cosmetic surgery is fully tax deductible. Dad, if I were to get an operation, what do you think I should change? Your brain, in fact, the amount you use it, you might as well have it removed completely. At least that way you lose a little bit of weight. <laughs> Being ugly can cause many problems. I have two masters and a PhD, but I can't find a job. Plus which, I was sent to prison for being What's an eyesore. This woman is a freak. But just take a look what happened when our friend visited the fashion body clinic. Now at last I'm happy! I'm out of work, but I don't care anymore because I'm getting married to a multi-millionaire next Thursday. <laughs> and there you have it. A visit to our clinic can change your life forever. That's just appalling! When are people going to realize that it's not the way they are on the outside that counts, it's what's underneath? <laughs> Honestly, Grandpa, it wouldn't kill you to change your underwear from time to time. I understand. Goodbye, and thank you very much. Stan Campbell? Uh-huh. Oh, uh, yeah, that's me. This is the fourth time that you've been excluded from school. Now, what do you have to say about that? Mm, well, it's all a big setup. I didn't do anything. Mr. Braun just has this thing about me. Oh, really? Well, if you think you're going to spend the rest of the week lying around on the sofa doing nothing, you can think again. That's right. There isn't the room for two of us. This is not a holiday, young man. You'll go to your room right now and look on the internet for job offers. Until they let you back to school, you're gonna go out and go to work. What? Me work? But I'm far too young for that. Wrong! The government just lowered the legal age limit to five years old! Oh! Did they think that it all started out when they abolished national insurance? <laughs> now, let's see. Qualified silicon sculptors? No. Genetic engineers, bionic prosthesis mechanics. That's more like it, computer programmers. There's a vacancy right there, the perfect job for a top hacker like me. Joe, have you tried? Ooh. The super strength iron supplement I gave you. Mm. Ooh, you mean the little pills? Mm. I would only can't lift the bottle off the table. <laughs> Then put your back into it! We have to find out whether they cause any serious side effects! Okay, I... I'll get on to it! Ah. Oh, Rancho? <laughs> Go, Gable, don't eat them! Oh, no, no! Well, I hope nothing happens to you, little buddy! <laughs> has been successful. The job's yours, young man. Congratulations. Cool, I just hope I'm up to the job. <laughs> you better be. First, you need a uniform. <laughs> Lovely, now you really look the part. Well, this is where you'll be working. All you have to do is type in whatever modifications the customer has requested. You'll soon pick it up. Honestly, my dear, it's a piece of cake. Nurse, see if you can find us a really ugly patient. We'll have to give you a quick demo just to show you how easy it is. Here you are, a prime specimen. Oh, excellent. The perfect candidate for some improvements, wouldn't you say? There's really nothing to it. You just have to choose the settings you want. For the nose, the hair, the mouth, etc, etc. What I want is hair. Tons of hair all over my head. Along, the results will amaze. <gasps> but I wanted was a head full of hair, and all you gave me was a comb over. Dr. Dr. Collins, tax inspector to see you. Oh no, the tax inspectors are here! Eek! And my new Mercedes is parked right by the front door! Mercedes, I thought you came in your Rolls Royce today, Miss Collins. Good heavens, you're right! Let's go! This gadget is cool. <laughs> Hold on tight. I'm just gonna give you a little more hair. Here, you know. Oh, look at the bone 
van Sloven. Look to right, does my hands on you. You're all gonna run through. Oh yeah, he's gone crazy round the bed. He's chewing up all the metal objects he can get his teeth on. There's not stopping the little guy. Look what he did to the back of this chair. Ooh. Oh. No, not the TV. Oh, interesting. Cable. This job is a blast. Beats computer games any day. Check this. <laughs> I must have an actual talent. It's goodbye nasal mucus. You'll never have a runny nose as long as you live. That's so cool. Boogers are like such a gross out. Okay. <laughs> totally a practical joke on my sister. Just change the program. Oh, the computer crashed. Ah, phew. <laughs> it looks like it's all right after all. Just need to kick start. Oh. Breaking the law, pal. The excess volume law. You're taking up more space than six normal sized citizens. So either you pay up or I'll have to put the cuffs on you. But listen, I, uh, I mean. Save it for the judge, fat boy. Huh? Whoa! It's the alarm on my illegal ugliness radar. That means somebody truly hideous is coming right this way. Yowza! <laughs> I think I better call for some reinforcements. I'm so jealous of that owl. Me too. I bet she looks incredible yeah. after her latest operation. Hi, Ross. Um, hello, it's like me. Ah! <laughs> Stop, police. Hey, you mutant. You can't run forever. Stop and give yourself up. We lost the monster. Not a trace. We're heading south, over. The monster was last seen in these parts. Witnesses claim it was hideously ugly. Again, all those guys come up with things. Can't turn off the radio. Ah! Ah! The monster! Ow! <laughs> Caused a major accident on the A18. Last scene heading south. Oh, watch out, guys. This thing's dangerous. Oh man, I got a code like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> oh no, here we go again. These special offer prosthetics are a complete ripoff, man. <laughs> oh, a monster! <laughs> Please help me! Uh, what the hell is that thing? Come back, man! You hey, you drunk it! Oh. <laughs> Holy moly! It's a man-eating monster! What? No! Listen, I never... I mean, like, I like... This terrifying beast is still at large! Can you hear me one, please? My dear fellow citizens, our way of life is being threatened by a terrible menace. But have faith, trust in the mayor's office, and we will emerge victorious from this trial. God bless our city. Ooh, what a guy. That mayor of ours really knows how to pluck at your heartstrings. Of course, Mr. Indeman, I sent reports out all over the city, but there's no sign of this monster thing. 
Well, I want to report to broadcast on. Gable, Joe, did you see that? He just took a big chunk out of my phone. What's that mean to him? Oh, I don't know, honey. <laughs> Please, you've got to, like, help me. Ah! Um, it's like me. Oh, please don't eat me. You wouldn't like me. I'm full of cholesterol. Mom! Dad! Dad! Ooh. Alice, is that you? Ooh. Yes, Ooh. Mom! Ooh. Oh, my little girl, come on. Come on! Mom. <laughs> oh, nobody move a muscle. Mmm, <laughs> delicious, though a little on the salty side. Ooh. What is the matter with you? Are you some kind of an idiot or something? Ooh. Am I some kind of idiot? Would you mind repeating the question, sir? Be quiet and tell us where the monster is. <laughs> Which monster? You wouldn't be referring to Gable by any chance. Yowza! I swear that I'll never set foot in a beauty clinic ever again. I mean, I'm having a really bad time here. It's like super unpleasant. They want to wipe me out as if I were some kind of horrible monster. And I am a horrible monster. Uh, you job it, rocks, dude. You know that monster they keep showing on TV? Oh. Sorry, Leslie, we'll have to cut it short. I got another call. See you later. Stan Campbell, bring your sister back here this minute. We've got to get her back to normal. But, Miss Collings, what's the big deal? If they ever find out the monster came from my beauty clinic, I'll be finished forever. And what makes you think I care? It's not my problem. I think it's your problem, unless you want to lose your job, that is. All right, okay, I'll go and get my sister for you. <laughs> hey, Gable, you gotta give me a hand. This is one of Alice's tops. You gotta pick up the scent. <laughs> This is worse than a nightmare! Stop, police! Hmm? But you can't shoot me! I'm, like, innocent! I'm obeying my orders, exterminate the monster! Me, who's me? Stan! How did you manage to find me? That perfume you wear is pretty unique, sis. Ain't that right, Gable? <laughs> Hey, Gable, chill out. It's Alice. And she's more beautiful than ever, huh? Hi, Gable. Um, like, what's he doing, Stan? That's not normal. You're right, it's real weird. I don't know what's the matter with him. All of a sudden, he started eating metal. So are you going to, like, help me get to the clinic so that I can get back to normal? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, you got it. Oh, that's <laughs> so good of you. Oh, get that thing off me. <laughs> I may be good, but I'm not stupid. I'm going to make a video. They'll pay me stack of money for the tape. Woo! Woo! Only a couple of drugs around here. Woo! Whenever I drink, this stuff, I start seeing things. Ooh, I drink 12 bottles. Then look at me. I'm as fresh as a daisy. Hi there, how you doing? Long time no see. <laughs> Hi there, how you doing? Long time no see. <laughs> hey, the clinic is just opposite. Come on, Stan. I mean, like, let's run. <laughs> this video is gonna make me rich. Um, what are you doing? We've gotta move, like, super fast. Must be something we can do. I can't have a pet that eats metal. I'm sorry, Joe. I don't know what to suggest. I'm a biogenetic scientist, you see, not a vet. Oh, yes. What? A hundred thousand dollars for a video of the monster? Yeah, sure. Just think what it would do for your channel's audience figures. <laughs> hmm. But okay. But I hope this report is worth it. I promise you, it's worth every last cent. <laughs> And you see, I don't understand why people have to judge me on my physical appearance. Well, perhaps you should emigrate and go and live deep in some tropical jungle where no one can see you. <laughs> oh, I'm like flipping out. It's a limited edition.
Edition Kelvin Clone Evening Dress. I want it. Give me, give me! I knew it. The ideal beat to catch a fashion victim like Alice Campbell. <laughs> doing around here? The mayor was very concerned. He's the major shareholder in the clinic. If you think it allows such a lucrative business to be put at risk, then you can think again. Ha, that mayor guy sure got some nerve. And now, Stan Campbell, it's my present duty to fire you for gross ineptitude. Ah, no, hey, I kept my side of the deal. Really? Well, I didn't. Well, um, people, can we go to the clinic now so you can, like, de-operate me? Take the monster and the boy. Unlock them in the highest security prison. <laughs> Why do you say I'm a monster? You know that I'm not. But it looks so much better if you are. Imagine the headlines. Man-eating monster single-handedly captured by the bear, along with its evil creator. Think of the vote. <laughs> what if the bear's more struggling to get operations in his own clinic? He thinks he's pretty smart. But he's not as smart as me. <laughs> I got every last second on film. Oh, oh gosh, I'm going to be a monster forever and ever. I'm the ugliest person in the world. Oh, no! I just put on 50 pounds! Of course, I remember. I gave you some whale DNA as well. Look on the bright side, Alice. There's no wall strong enough to hold you now. You see what I'm saying, blubber features? That's right, now do it. What the heck was that noise? The monster, it escaped. Sound the alarm. Whoa, would you look at that? This thing must be dangerous. <laughs> uh, how are we gonna get Don't worry about it. I think I know a way. <laughs> See what I mean? There was nothing to it. And now we've got to find a machine. Come on! To your laws, fat people and ugly people will have to get operations if we're making a fortune, Mr. Mayor. Right, but what about thin people? Perhaps it's about time we made a law against them, too. Could be a lot of money in it. What do you think? Hello? What? The monsters managed to get inside the clinic? Oh, okay, I'll be there right away. There is somebody save me! Okay, come on, get onto the conveyor belt. Ugh, but Stan, I can hardly finish! The police are coming! They're on the right now! They won't get here in time anyway. Going back to where she was before. <laughs> Get out of my way, you little brat! <laughs> You're not gonna beat me that easily! Come here! the imposter, the real man wears glasses, remember? He's got a point there. All right, don't move, you're under arrest. No, you're Super making a big mistake on the bear. Come on, Alice, get back into the machine. Let's finish with this. Yeah, hallelujah. Oh, this is great. I'm like totally back to normal. This is so mega. Okay, suit yourself. I already got all the footage I need. <laughs> Stan, hurry up. I have to broadcast that video on the 9 o'clock news. And I need pictures for tomorrow's paper. Sure thing, guys. Coming right up. I'll just get that tape for you, and then I'll pack my bags for my trip to the Bahamas. <laughs> Go out for a walk. 
Come on, you little creep. Let's see if we can find any tape. 